think you have a great location. Uh, it's fantastic to be in the heart of the city, so the students have opportunities to socialize after classes to come together, which maybe will help with collaboration and uh, teamwork and student projects, which, are, which is always important in a college like this. The students seem really enthusiastic. Uh, they were very appreciative of the talk that I gave, and uh, I, think, I think you've got a nice bunch of people here. Studying at SAE, it was, it was a very good time to study because it was on the, the transition between analog and digital, of going from tape to going to Pro Tools and digital recording. So I found uh, a lot of great experience. I had a lot of great experience at SAE at the time, back in the mid-90s. I uh, learned a lot of theory, made some great contacts, people that I still know today. Uh, one person I know from SAE actually got me a job later in life. Uh, in another position. So, yeah, good contacts, good theory, good experience, and it was a great time to be studying. And then afterwards, when I went back as a lecturer, um, I found that it helped consolidate my knowledge. Uh, I was relearning things so that I could explain it to other people, and I felt it made me a, a better engineer uh, to be able to work through that knowledge and present it to future generations or newer generations of students. Because it's, it's, it's always had a good balance of practical and theory, and they're both very important. Um, and the theory needs to cover a wide range of subjects, which SAE traditionally has done. Uh, and I think that's important, because then you can, you can choose so many different paths in your career. You can go into live sound, post-production, broadcasting, music production. Uh, and the SAE is well-placed to give someone that opportunity.